What's up, dear people, and welcome to Bong's Corner. Today, I'm going to be getting into Ozark Season 1, Episode 5 and 6. I want to do two episodes today just to catch up because I haven't dropped a reaction in a few weeks. So, yeah. And let's get into it. How exactly do you know that's Bobby Dean? Because I've sat with him. Pretty sure that's Bobby Dean. Well, what distinguishing feature are you seeing here? What? What? His eyes? Gucci shirt. How did Bobby Dean knock off Gucci shirt? Somebody left him on purpose. We have to call the cops. Forget it. There is a body at our dock. Yeah, it's the dead body of the business I just took over. Think about it. Okay. Why don't you just go inside? We just go. Yeah. You're thinking you're smarter than us. Far more family more money than you. I expect to see that bill sit on my desk first thing tomorrow. Business is business. Good 
talked. Me too, sir. Why did he cut his car off? Like, what if he tried to shoot him this time? He was just sitting there like he could so fucking weird. I got it. And you know he was coming that way, so he has to have been watching him. Uh-oh. Cowboy Myers? No. <laughs> That's okay, Vin. Your friends are really not supposed to be back here. Okay. Just trying to be chivalrous. Uh, Shimori's dead, haven't you heard? Uh-huh. From Chicago? Uh, yeah. Island Park. Neighbor Dog. Yeah, the neighbor thrill. <laughs> nice. From Zach. You little Charlotte. cutie. Okay. Can you get the tea? So is there any chance I can get you the party code? <laughs> Pretty wild on a holiday weekend. Uh, I wish, but I'll be chained to that dock. I see. Thanks. <laughs> How much do I owe you? Uh, you know, I'm not usually back here, so... I have no idea. Well, to change. Let's see you around. I know that's why it's probably grew on. You. Let me know you want to go and stay on there. You think you killed him? They think I killed Bobby. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's correct. Yep. First, I heard it from Fats when I got my smokes. Who's Fats? You know, the guy from the liquor store. No. And then Mary mentioned it at breakfast. Mary? You know, the waitress with the tea. Okay. This whole town's like a big fucking With the tea? Yeah, except Mary said that. I told them Bobby Dean didn't have a nice body anyway. Man tits. Okay. Well, obviously I didn't kill anyone. I know. If you're a killer, then I'm fucking Snow White and I don't see any dwarfs around. Right. So listen, Ruth, um, I need you to um, take care of things around here for the while. Can you do that? Run stuff? Me? Yeah, just through the holiday weekend. I gotta, I gotta work over at the Blue Cat. Well, don't be fucking slammed here. I'll make it with you while cash flies and promise. You got any questions, just give me a call. Okay? You'll be fine. What? You son of a bitch, I've seen you in here running from something unsavory. Where were you running from? You moved here, right? What did you do? I hold you still. You went to balance with because you weren't staring through the shot. You got to keep aiming at the target, keeping up with the smoke clear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what I love about watermelon. They approximate the water content of the human body. <laughs> Not that I advocate that. But... Should have known I wouldn't come at you with my right. Not again. Why is it like good manners to put the second black eye on the other side or something? Uh, I don't know about manners, but symmetry is more attractive. But here's what I do now. You being here, being visible to customers. I'm not sure that's good for business right now. You should stay away. Right. At least you know, camp out in the office or something until this gets sorted out. Fine. I'll answer your question. Um, what do you know about the name Snow? Mm -hmm. 
They lived here as long as anyone can remember. We moved up into those hills when the dam was built. Lakes swallowed up their ancestors' graves. Folks tell all kinds of tales about the devious things that are going on on that farm, and who knows what is just urban legend. How Bobby look when they fished him out? Like a peeled pumpkin. If that be a lesson to you, Ash, never trust a redneck when you need the job done right. Yes, ma'am. And then Birdman. Martin Bird. Said his employer wouldn't allow it. This is Josh Silverberg. I believe he knew his father, Gary. Josh has some questions about his father's suicide. Nice to meet you, Josh. How do you know where they live? Where they live? How do you know where they live? I am so sorry about your father. Just, we couldn't accept that. The detective is wrong. I know it. He was the happiest he'd been in years. He told me so. Ten days before he supposedly threw himself out an alien story window. I had just told him that it was over. That I was leaving Chicago with my family to give my marriage a second chance. Did you love him? Interesting transition. It went from him asking I, her that to him. Sorry, I forgot it was Sunday. Well, these these are the things that he that good if you were wondering. His ego just needed a little boost. I wonder if they might end up having a thing. On the pole. We needed a class to join up if we ever want to make any money. This was Marty's idea? Mm-mm, mine. I looked at our inventory and I felt that it was lacking. Don't get it wrong, a bunch. Competition's good for you. For a character. Mm -hmm. We all know why you're here. What was that you said? It's okay, tell me. Bobby Dean turns up dead, now you're in charge. Don't deny it, we all know who your daddy is. Anyone else got shit to say about my daddy? Hmm? Get back to work. Shit ton of money to make this weekend. I had a feeling she was gonna rock her ass if she did. You did. Probably hurt the son to hear that though. Like if you hypothetically thinking my dad did that over a woman and she didn't even know him, like yeah, that would sting even more, honestly. Been looking for you. Checked out a couple of spots, I know. Water's running real good. I'm not interested in fishing with me anymore. Well, you can plan on paying me for my time. Of course. Well, I need money. 
I'm trying to wrap my brain up. Was it an ambulance? Yesterday, you seemed certain it was foul play. I prefer to keep all options open at the start of the investigation. I don't care when they kill a horse. I'm not even worse than have that much hair when it was. It was an expression. Was it? Hmm. I think I know what she's getting at. Oh, I got you. I get you. The fuck is wrong with you? So I I just make it anyway. Stay away from All right. Get the fuck out. All right. Get the fuck out of my truck. All right. All right. Fuck you. He knows. He knows the Snells killed him. Fucking sheriff, and he's afraid of him. If the Snells want this dead, they would have done it already, so don't worry. We just, we just avoid it. It's a cash. I know I am. Okay, so, so, so what is that? Is I don't know. Okay? You, you tell me. Well, there's got to be some business the IRS is afraid to touch. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hi, we're the birds. I'm Wendy. Hi. Hey. Marty. Mason. Hi. Hey, Grace. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. Of course. We go to the porch here. Did you ever do that got shot in the beginning? I wonder why he kissed him. It's like, does he have a feeling that old boy could be gay? Because why else would he kiss him? Like, did he have a feeling that dude is superior? I'm not a fucking fag. Okay. And when to fight you? Stop! 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 He is serious. He is serious. You're drunk. And? He is serious. Okay, that's why I was thinking. I'm like, he had to have built. That there was something there. I don't feel like he was just kissing for no reason. And the fact that he came back and decided to like fix with him, even though I feel like that showed his curiosity. Wow, that's crazy. Ruined days. Marty and her would be so cute together. What do you mean? I mean, it's yours, if you want. Clap? Yeah. I'll run the bus, you can take care of the day of the day. I'll give you a thousand bucks a week. Or I can start interviewing managers. Uh, no, no, I'll do it. Okay. I'll take care of this. Okay. Thank you. You can keep it up. <laughs> so you just broke into his house. You? Yeah, I'm bringing the library card. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's the dude they sent. That's Nelson. Go get your gun, baby. Thank <laughs> you. 
All she people were to take the money. Man, he did. Man, he gave her that position and she's still out here fucking. She ain't conniving. Did you want to get the gun? Good boy. Good boy, let's go. You might be gone by the time you get back, though. Kill him. You need to hurry back. Y'all need to hurry back. Come on, Jonah! Ooh, but I hope... Now I'm kind of scared, because what if you see Jonah and then kill him? Come on, Jonah. Oh, Lord. I'm, I'm nervous. Jonah, hurry and be careful. I'm scared. But I hope Jonah shoot him. Take him out, Jonah. This nigga really in their house! Jonah. Careful, honey. Oh, Lord Jesus. Jonah. Careful, baby. Jonah! Does he see him? He sees him! Jonah. Oh God, there's a lot happening at once. Donna, please be careful, baby. <laughs> Jonah, is he gonna tell him somebody's in the house? You tell me when you like this, I'm fucking killing you. A lot was just happening just now. I wanted to Damn, I was going to take him out. Do you know what I mean? Why we can't grind out much, brother? No, sir. And this proof you still got no clue about this. No. It's mine. No, sir. Get they serve it? In the... Nah, bro. What? Ash is here to help with the boat. As long as we distribute on the water, cops can't touch us. They serve it in the drum. They've been trying to this place 200 years. When they could, they figured they'd try and flood us out. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. Tell me you're joking. The man cannot tame what God wishes to be wild. Tell me you're joking. Bro. Bro. I have some wonderful news. A soon outfit community is going to have a home. Thank you. Please stand up. Please. Please stand up. Amen. Good boy. Oh man, I really, 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 I really, really, really enjoyed this episode. Some action, some dialogue. Um, it was very engaging. It definitely kept me like very engaged while watching the story unfold and as the plot continues to move forward. 
So I'm uh, aim to go in chronological order of the things that happened. Um, Bobby Dean's body was found, which kind of tied up a loose end on him because we knew he got killed, but we never, after that, we never heard anything else about him. So apparently, Snell, the dude who he's in business for, who he was, I guess, moving drugs for as well, um, he was killed by Snell. Um, the body was put in Marty's yard, which lets us know that Snell knows about Marty to some extent. You know that he's doing something, <laughs> um, and they attempted to get in business with Marty, but Marty was like, "Yeah, it's not gonna happen." Um, afterwards, we did see Jonah interacting with their um, neighbor slash roommate. I forget his name, the older gentleman. And he's been teaching him how to shoot, which is so cool. I know that's a big deal when growing up in the country, you learn how to hunt and stuff. So I think that's cool that Jonah's learning that. Um, I will say, yeah. I'm kind of scared though about him learning that because he's so young and I feel like he still is impressive. So we just don't want him doing the wrong thing with his weapon. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead into the other part of the drama with the dude looking through Marty's home and taking pictures and Jonah was this close to potentially taking him out. Like that literally had me like, what the hell? Like I was kind of sick. But I'm glad, I'm honestly glad that Jonah didn't have to be a because I but a whole a whole other thing that the birds would have had to deal with and they were already dealing with this whole Bobby Dean's situation and him potentially looking like a murderer to the city, to the town, so it's good that that didn't happen right then, but I'm, I'm guessing they're probably going to end up having to take that guy out, Ash is his name? Yeah, they're going to end up taking him out. Um, Ruth is once again still ruthless, like it's crazy because Marty he's been putting her putting her in position to win, making sure she get having money in her pocket, but still, she's still after her bag. Like she doesn't really care. And as you can see, she followed Marty to his dad's house. This is kind of dangerous because you know what I'm saying, if her and Marty have a bad a bad father now, then at the end of the day, she knows when he gets money, she can rob him and that's the end of it. But well, who knows? Maybe it's a good thing that she does know because if something happens to Marty, she still has an idea of like how to run things and where to keep the money. So I don't know. It could be a good or bad thing. It just depends because their relationship to me is so precarious <laughs> because they literally met because she tried to rob you. <laughs> so it's like, what? Um, what's up? The undercover agent is now doing it with Bruce Boo. This is like, whoa, I did not see that coming. But honestly, once the dude came back to him and was like, hey, I've been looking for you to work with you, it was kind of like, maybe he was opening the door for him. And that's why the agent kind of had the idea to be like, okay, I can kiss him and he won't be, he won't feel it. Because I'm like, why did he try to know he has a whole woman at home? He's not gay. Like, that was so weird. Um, what else? I don't remember everything I have in that episode. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Also, Ruth beating up that girl was so funny. I knew that was going to happen because the girl was just talking shit. But she said something about Ruth's dad that I didn't fully understand. So, what's up with her dad? Because I know the dude, the dude that's in her house, one is her brother, right? And then the dude that's having sex with the FBI agent, that's her man. So, what's up with her dad? That was interesting. I guess we'll get more info on that in another, in another episode. Oh, and then Pastor Mason, it looks like he's going to be more of a reoccurring character in the episodes now that the, excuse me, now that Martin and Wendy 
are building a church for him. And they kind of gave us the backstory as to why he turned over his life over to God is because he got shot, looks like in the heart or in the lungs, and he survived. So now it kind of came to us at the end of the episode. You understood why and what was going on. I think I touched on everything. Oh, and Charlotte is just that girl around town. Got all the views checking for her. I love it. It's funny that she's like that cool now with, um, I forget his name. Is that Ruth's son or her cousin? Ruth's cousin. I forget his son. But like him and Charlotte are back cool now. So that's cool to see. And then that other dude who was in the beginning of the episode who introduced himself there, he's real cute. That's why I really want to start with it. Anyways, I really enjoyed this episode. I guess I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. And so please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps it to grow. And yeah, I will see you guys. I'm gonna actually watch episode six right now. So I wanna catch up on the show. I really like this show. I'm just busy um, with gigs and other things that I have going on. But I really like the show, so I want to continue pumping them out. And yeah, I will see you guys in episode. Bye!